So for our next topic is all about the construction specifications. So what are construction specifications? So these are the specifications are written stipulations stating among others the construction methods to be followed, standards of workmanship, and the kind of quality materials to be used. So usually ang um, construction specifications is a uh, written written uh, type of document stating what materials to be used, how many curing days, what of paint to be used, uh, what uh, type of cement, gravel to be used, and etc. So for the working drawings of a proposed two-story residence, so presented on the following pages are the working drawings of a two-story residence. So to show the building features in greater detail, the drawings have been prepared a bigger in relation to the size of the drawing sheets used. So for example, so here is the proposed two-story residence perspective, then for the site development plan, then next is the location map. So ito is more on examples tayo. Then next, this is the first floor plan. So ayan, makikita nyo yung dimensions, measurements, tables, chairs, tiles, furnitures, and etc. Second floor plan. Then next is the front elevation. So ito yung mga gagawin natin for laboratory activities. So uh, maghahanap kayo ng isang existing, existing structure or plans. Then idrawing natin siya sa AutoCAD and SketchUp. So ang importance ng SketchUp is more on the perspective view. So sa AutoCAD, so dito nyo gagawin yung front elevation, rear elevation. So depende sa inyo. So kung gusto nyo yung bahay nyo, di ba? Meron kayong bahay, so, mas madali kung square. Eh. So, ilolocate nyo yung column, ilolocate nyo yung beams, gano'n ka ba yung column, gano'n ka ba yung beams. So, it means, para siyang actual. Uh, actual labora laboratory na magsusukat tayo and magdodrawing. So, parang kayo na yung structural, structural engineer itself and at the same time, um, architect. So, ayan. So, for the right side elevation, so ito yung uh, view for the right side elevation. So, ayan, may kita mo dyan is kung ano itsura niya in right side elevation and left side elevation. For the transverse section, so ito yung ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin trans transverse section. So, shorter axis, so hinati niya sa gitna, so yun na ikita. So, mga doors, windows, floor profile and etc. Then for the longitudinal section, so which is a longer axis, so yan yung nakikita natin. Then for the foundation plan, so ito example of foundation plan, so we have discussed it earlier. Then details of CHB and walls, so ito is mga example of wall footing, isolated footing, columns and beams. Then dito for second floor framing plan, so nandyan na yung example of the Uh, slab detail reinforcements beam detail reinforcements and etc then dito naman so ito yung uh, details natin for beam so ayan kung ilang rebars yung gagamitin so ayan yung sabi section at supports uh, 2-16mm bars at the bottom and 5-16mm bars at the top so, ayan so most likely nasa support siya So, pag sa support kasi, di ba, nandoon yung uh, nandoon yung mas malaking moment. Then, for mid-span, nandoon naman yung mas malaking moment sa mid-span. For continuous beams. Then, for the roof framing plan, so, ito yung example of roof framing plan. So, ayan. Purlin, saw garage, cross bracing, steel truss, and etc. Then, for the details, so, ito yung example of details of the floor plans. Then next for the first floor plumbing plan, so ito is for plumbing. So ayan, diagram of sanitary lines. So, ayan. Then floor, first floor lighting plan for electrical plan, so ayan. Ayan, first floor power plan, second floor power plan. And last is the sample construction specification. So here is the example of construction specifications. So, general conditions, clearing sites, taking out of the building lines, excavation, backfill, concrete works, proportioning of concrete, so class A, class B, class C, so itatail natin yan sa 
materials or materials in concrete form for concrete works and etc so ayan so that's all for the first part of the building design one which is the requirements in building estimating of bill of materials so thank you so see you tomorrow thanks